Nutty I'm sick like the Nergy The u bars rule is Cali Pax, they shot for 30 That's why your girl's flirty and your boy's getting shirty Like say he wants to hurt me but I ain't going nowhere like herpes Turkeys Welcome to another episode of Crazy's Cookbook uh, today I'm going to be doing something that I love cooking, it's amazing yeah I'm going to be doing a couple of racks of lamb ribs yeah? So you can have this uh, if you don't eat pork And this, yeah, to be fair it's better than pork ribs anyway So yeah, lamb is the way But um, trust me on this one, it's going to be good First thing I'm going to do uh, for the ribs is I've, I've got them in a pan like this yeah, I'm going to add the dry rub in a minute But I want to add some vinegar to it It brings out the flavour and um, yeah, just amazing things so I'm using red wine vinegar and then pop that over the top I'm going to get a trusty paintbrush in there to make sure it gets in all the nook and crannies and remember to use a separate paintbrush from the one that you paint your walls with because that's just nasty um, but yeah, I'm going to get that round, I'm going to flip that over get that over everything and I'll leave that to soak for about 20 minutes I'll be back with you then the vinegar has been on there for about 20 minutes now uh, It's nice and soaked into the meat So I'm going to add a, what's a dry rub now So first I've cracked some black pepper I love black pepper on ribs, uh, lamb ribs So I'm going to be putting quite a lot on there I ain't being shy with this It really does work well together with it um, Now garlic Now because I'm going to be slow cooking this I tend to find the whole garlic, they tend to lose their flavour after a while so this garlic powder just works really well and it gets right in, in between all the bones and everything like that when you marinate it, rub it in so I'm going to yeah, put a nice healthy amount of garlic powder on top now, now this it might look like I'm cheating, this is a barbecue seasoning yeah this has got your cumin, it's got your paprika, it's got yeah, coriander, uh, it's got everything like that but the reason I use this yeah, is because it's got a hickory wood smoke flavour in there the, you just won't get it, unless you get like the liquid smoke which I haven't got and um, I want that smoke flavour because I'm not out doing it on a barbecue and this is about as close as authentic as it's going to get now what I want to do is put healthy amounts of this on top I'm going to marinate that in as well, I'm going to get right in there and make sure it's covered but yeah we want a nice amount of this on there ok I'm going to put some rosemary in with the lamb um, I usually would use um, fresh red rosemary but again the shops didn't have the rosemary today went to a couple shops and um, but yeah I've got this, just dry that a bit and it's fine and they do the same job uh, so I've got some rosemary on there now I'm going to add a glass of water in there as well just to keep that moist ok now I've got foil as well because I'm going to wrap this up I'm going to chuck this in the oven for 2 hours uh, completely wrapped and sealed um, and that's going to have time for that water to soak into everything all the fats to render and come out it's just going to be peg, you won't see it so yeah right, I've wrapped this up pretty tightly around the lip so it, all the steam don't just come out uh, but this should be good now uh, as I said, I'm going to put this in now for 2 hours on, um, I did that on 160 degrees so I don't want it to burn, I just want it to cook through nicely yeah, catch in two hours. Two hours have gone. Uh, but before I get that out of the oven, I'm just about to get these ready. These are some sweet potatoes. I've got them in the water and I cleaned them off, but I did. The people don't bother. They're, they're grown in the ground, so it makes sense you've got to clean them. Um, especially because I'm going to be chopping them up with the skin on. So um, I'm going to make them into like wedgy sort of shapes. Where possible, but these aren't the most wedge type of yeah, potatoes. You lost like my plot, I'm the winner of the top prize A heavy sweater, I'm still champion material Champing at the bit to be pouring champers in my cereal Killer, ill, the only clap you got Sweet potatoes, and yes they are sweet potatoes Don't be fooled by the colour They are actually just a different type of sweet potato That I got from the international supermarket but They're really good um, Especially in wedgies like this uh, So I'm going to season them, I've got some garlic That I've chopped up I'm just going to sprinkle that all over the top um, I'm going to go for some all pepper seasoning, of course. Now I'm going to chuck some bay leaves in the mix. Uh, I'm going to get some fresh thyme. And get that in there. When I say fresh, it's a bit dry as well. But always keep these like rosemary and thyme as well because they're still very, very usable when they dry out. And then I'm going to put 
some olive oil all over it. Nice healthy amount because I wanted to throw bits in that I've almost baked. And of course some salt and pepper that I've already ground up in the pesto and mortar. Right, now I'm just going to get in there and yeah, mush it around. Get that seasoning all over the wedges. And then I'm going to spread them out so they're not all on top of each other. And that way they don't just boil down and actually cook through properly. Now these need to go in the oven for about 30 minutes, I reckon. 20, 30 minutes, but yeah, probably more 30. Um, I'm gonna take the meat out of the oven now, and then when I take off the cover, I put them back in. Uh, so they're both cooking at the same time, but yeah, great. Right, whilst we're here then, Let's get this out of the oven. As I said, that's been cooking for just over two hours now. 100, 160 degrees. Come here, cameraman. Get ready for this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, this is going to be amazing. Right, now, what I'm going to do, okay, because there's a layer of skin and fat on the other side, I'm going to flip them over. Oh yeah, you'll notice as well, there are mysteriously bay leaves in there as well, yeah? Off camera I remember that I didn't put bay leaves in, so I put them in. It didn't just magically happen in my kitchen. Um, but yeah, you see how all the bones are starting to, to come away? That's the sign that you're doing something right. Now, what I need to do is flip this over, because I want it to go the other way, uh, skin side up. Well, that is going to be special. But yeah, that's going to go into the oven now. I'm going to leave that sauce in there because that will help stop it from drying out too much. It's going to be beautiful. But um, yeah, I'm going to get that in there now. I'm going to turn up the heat. That is going to go up to about 200 degrees. So, pow. So I've just gone and had the 25 minute, 30 minute check. Um, as I want to make sure these aren't burning. And these are at a perfect stage. We're at the top now, yeah? Uh, well, the other side where it's got the, the skin and everything like that is nice and crispy. So I'm going to flip that back over. I should really use the tongs on this part, but... The tongs. Look at this. Pow. And this is where we're going to see it cook down properly now. This is going to be delicious. I can't wait to eat this. Alright, one thing you notice, because it's lamb, there is a lot of fat in that. Um, which I am going to pour off, because I don't want that in the dish when I make my sauce to glaze it in a second. Yeah, so we'll get rid of loads of that, but we'll leave some of this stuff in the bottom. Look how much fat's in that, that's mine. Got these vine tomatoes, I'm gonna put in around here, because I'm gonna put it back in to heat up for a little bit longer, because we want some of this fat on the top to dry out and crisp up a bit, so before yeah, I add the salts. In the meantime, I boiled down some sweet corn and I'm going to get some butter, a nice bunch of butter that everyone has uh, butter on the sweet corn. But I'm going to make sure I cook that into it, I'm not just going to chuck it on top and hope for the best. I'm going to make sure that butter is all around that sweet corn. Taste the role of yeah. Being brash and being flashy, I've been begging all them off. I shot him work on the roads and I was barely old enough. They ask them, I'm my brother's keeper. Damn right, I hold them up. I treat these MCs like deck chairs and swiftly fold them up. Okay, I'm taking this out now because I think this is dry enough on top. We don't want it to be too dry, uh, but I want it to lose the goopiness from the fat. But yeah, I'm gonna. Oh wow. <laughs> it's falling apart. Right. Look, I'm still going to make it glaze. I just want to look as pretty on the plate now. Look at it, it's just... Go on. That's testament as to how soft and tender that meat is going to be. Right, I managed to get uh, the ribs off the other lot without them falling apart because they are super tender. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drain the sauce from underneath here. And I am just going to mix that with some simple barbecue sauce. It works. So about 50-50 ratio. Mix that up. 
So I'm gonna get the ribs, and get them in this, and get this sauce all over that meat. I believe this one fell apart. Look, it's gonna be beautiful no matter what. If it looks a bit like a horror movie on that bit. Apes if it's weed, uh. trying to find a way to escape from Now for five last minutes, now I've got the glaze on top and the reconstructed Frankenstein ribs on that side. Um, but yeah, they're so tough, soft and tender, they just literally fall off the bone. It's beautiful. Um, but that's going in the grill. I've changed that over now. So that's cooking in the grill at the bottom. That's on 200 degrees. And um, yeah, we'll come back and check that in about five minutes. Let that all caramelize and go nice. Right, so have a look at this. Oh, bubbling on top. This is what I wanted. This is perfect. Come on. Right, well, it's ready to serve now, so I'll catch you in a second. And have my number capped Came to ruin the vibe Rip it to shreds Individual threads That you can start marketing as distress well, This is the, the spare ribs The lamb spare ribs uh, Absolute thing of beauty I've cooked these many times and I know this is really good But just so you can have an idea I mean look It just falls off the bone That is So far So done Good Right Let's see what I'm not going to talk with my mouth full, it's rude isn't it? But what you got to do yeah, if you could like, if it really helps the channel, could you click like and subscribe um, and also check out these videos here as well, go give them a play, we've done loads of them, yeah give them a shot, but thank you for watching Crazy School Pop, hope you enjoyed.